In this tutorial I will show you how to make a very simple uh, waffle or egg crate model in 3ds Max. So let's start by just making a very simple box. So go to your Create tab, Geometry, Box. Go ahead and draw a box. Um, we're going to make this box about um, two feet, actually one feet, one foot, by one foot, by one foot. And then we'll just make it uh, one, one, one for the segments here. This is basically a one foot by one foot model um, if we're making a small architectural model. Um, then I'm going to go to my Create tab and the Shapes uh, icon. And then under Splines, you'll find the Section tool. And this will essentially cut a section of any geometry in your scene. So this could you could imagine this being a much more complex model. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm using a very simple one, but the, the general process would be the same. So go to Section and just draw a section and it will cut anything that's visible in your scene so it doesn't have to be actually intersecting your object uh, and then I'm going to make sure my snaps are turned off and then bring this up a little bit and then I'm gonna hold down shift to make a copy of this object and then on the z-axis I'll bring that arm up and we'll just make two cuts for for this particular waffle say OK and then let's make another section and then rotate this. Turn on your rotate snap so you can rotate it exactly 90 degrees and then select uh, over your y-axis, rotate the section 90, 90 degrees and then let's make two sections here as well. So I'm going to hold down shift and then move backwards on the x-arm to make another section. Say OK. Once you have your sections, you just select each of them, go to the Modify tab, and then say Create Shape. Select the Create Shape button, and it will uh, automatically create a, sh a shape. It's a line at that section cut. Say OK. You can then delete the section object. Create shape for each of these. Delete each of the section objects after you create the shape. And you'll see it then creates four lines where those sections were located. So now I'm going to select my box and just right click and hide that selection so I'm left with just my lines. So whenever you're working with lines we're going to try to basically create the intersection of where these occur so we can create a notch. So if we laser cut this model this notch will then um, work correctly and the two will match accordingly. So the first thing you have to do is attach all of these edit splines together. So select any of them, uh, one of them, and then go over to the right where it says attach, select attach, and then you can select all of your lines. And then when you're done, make sure you deselect the attach button. Um, if you then go into the edit spline, so the modify tab, go into the edit spline, you can go to the vertex, uh, sub-object level and you can see your different vertices. Now to make a waffle model we we'll basically want to notch, create a notch, a thickness first of all to the rib, each of these represents a rib, and then also a notch where they intersect. So the first thing we have to do is create a vertice at uh, the intersection on both lines. So to do this we can go over to the right here and use the cross insert command and it will basically insert a vertice within any location where two lines intersect within 330 seconds of an inch of each other. So if you select cross insert, you can then select on these intersections and you can see it'll then add a vertice on both lines. So you want to select all four of those points. The next thing we want to do is deselect that and um, we want to actually create a thickness for these notches and you want to make sure that the thickness is a little bigger than the material that you're using for the thickness of the rib. So if you have, for example, um, something that's a material that's 3 16th of an inch thick, you'll want to use a 1 8 inch notch so that the material can slide and fit snugly but actually be a little bit of uh, room for for um, a little bit of space so, so the model will go together better. So what you'll want to do is select all of these intersections. Oh, i got to add two more down here. So select all of your vertices at the intersections. You don't need to select the endpoint vertices. And then if you go to chamfer, the vertex sub-object level still, chamfer, you can make this amount larger than the um, thickness of the material. And I don't have a thickness of the material right now, so I'm just going to use, uh, let's say, quarter of an inch. 
just so we can see it very clearly. These are very large notches. Yours shouldn't be this big in a model, but uh, just for clarity, I'm going to make them pretty big. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can then see that you'll have uh, little markers to create your notches. So you'll want to then select these and detach them from this blind network. So the first thing I'll do is just demonstrate on this one rib here. If we select this rib and go to detach over on the right, make sure that reorient and copy are deselected, and then hit detach, say OK. And now I'm just going to hide the rest of this. So I just want to rotate this so it's flat on the grid. So I'm going to go to the rotate, make sure my rotate snap is still on, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's horizontal to the plane of the grid. And let's go to the top view. I just push T, but uh, make sure you're on the top view. So now with this new line, let's go to the sub-object level of the spline, modify tab, select vertice, and you can see I have the intersection of those two lines. So the first thing I want to do is go to the spline sub-object level, select the spline, and now we're going to outline it. And we're going to outline it a little more than the middle point of the thickness of the rib. So if I want this rib to be, let's say, one inch deep, I want to go um, a little over half inch. And so you, and the reason for this is that the two notches, you want to have a little space between where the, the, the sort of knuckles of them intersect so that they have a little bit of forgiveness there. So if I'm making a one inch rib, I'll go a little over uh, half inch, I'll say five eighths of an inch. And then I will then select this one and actually I'll select this one again and say one inch. So that's the entire width of the rib and this will be the length of the notch. So the next thing I want to do is select segments and delete all of the segments uh, in the middle of the rib here that I won't be using to create the notch. So this will be the back end of the notch and then we don't need those segments. And we can also delete all the vertices on the outside of the rib because we won't need those to create the notch either. So we're almost done here. The next step is to use create line and you can use create line in any three of the sub-object levels. I prefer vertices so you can see the vertice. So if you select create line and make sure your snaps are on, select snaps, right click, make sure you have your vertex snap selected. Then you can start drawing um, the outline of these notches. And then when you're done, just simply deselect create line, go to segment, and then we'll delete the outside of the notches. Okay, and so then we have the notches on the outside of the rib. Uh, for the other direction of the rib, we'd want to do the exact opposite and make the notch cut from the inside so the two could slip over each other nicely. Uh, and then the last thing you want to do is just weld all of these lines. So select vertex sub-object level, select all the vertices, select weld, and it should be uh, one connected rib. So you could take this to the laser cutter and cut this rib and it should fit with the other thing. The last thing you might want to do is just add a little bit of text. So if you go to the Create tab and go to the um, Shapes icon, down at the bottom right above section is Text. And if you want, you could laser cut. This is very large, but you could laser cut a sort of um, uh, label that you can then put onto the rib. So maybe you want to make it a little bigger. Let's make it a half inch and you can locate this so they're all in the same sort of location. So that's how you make a basic rib in Max and if you do this in both directions you'll create a waffle model that can then be uh, put together uh, with some glue.